let me introduce to you the new possible king of hypercars now i did a zero to 250 mile per hour test it was only 0.8 seconds slower than the revelto it handles almost identical to revelto with these settings but every like i don't have the jesco i don't have the sentai dsc or whatever it is yet i know a lot of people drive the jesco I'm pretty sure all of my hypercars besides this top out at 298 miles per hour. This hits 310, 310. So if you really get out on the highway and you save up your NOS, you're cruising past everybody else. And on top of that, this thing launches, we were 16th in the past two grand races. No NOS, we got out to third and second in front of everybody just off the launch. This thing is fast. This thing is insane. I don't want to say it's the best hypercar. It's very hard to tell because there's so many variables with grand races. And, you know, I'm, do I feel like going and time attacking all these on a certain track? Not really. I did on Need for Speed. This thing really is quick. I, there's no denying it. And I don't ever see anybody using it. So look, I'm gonna show you some clips from the Grand Race, and then we're gonna get into the pro settings here. This thing is a monster. Get this thing up to speed. Maybe right here. Look at that, three, 310 we hit. 310, 16th position. Watch how fast this thing climbs right near the top. Look at this. Look at the launch, look at the grip. There's a Jesco right there, started in front of us. He's a little Nas. Ah, I almost got away. Look at us. From 16th, right up, freaking put, you know, all my stuff into it. It's, um, it became second on the list. But if you look, my, uh, my Sharon, which was pretty much one of my better performing cars, 4,100 pounds. Look at this thing. 3,086 pounds. Okay. 2.4 seconds acceleration. This is pretty good. Okay. Now, yeah, maybe a little top end, like around 260, 270. It kind of lacks maybe a little bit compared to some of the, like the Jesco or the Bugattis and stuff. But I mean, you'll see in the videos, like I walk past them like it's nothing. Um, yeah, a lot of these hypercars are just heavy, very heavy. But I don't know, I'm, I'm really happy with this thing and I don't see anybody using it. And I'm like, man, 310 in the hypercar class is wild. Anyway. I'm going to show, uh, you know what, let's just do the pro settings now. All right, let's do the pro settings now. So here we go. I'll give you boys what I have. This Now, there will be times if you try to drift around a corner without giving it even just a little tiny bit of gas, it will slide out on you. So make sure when you're cornering, you always either feather the throttle, like pop, 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 or like give it just a little bit just to keep it from sliding out. I couldn't, that was the best I could get it. This thing feels really good, though, compared to stock. This thing is, yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, bump this power distribution to 40% front. All right, you're going to have 60% power to the rear instead of 70. Brake balance, 65% fell fine to me. I didn't touch it. Aero, load on the front, negative eight. All right. Spring front, negative eight soft. Spring rear, negative four soft. Okay. Damper compression front, plus one stiff, negative 12% soft on the rear. Damper rebound front, plus 1% stiff on the front, negative 12 soft on the rear. Anti-roll bars, 10% stiff on the front, plus 7% stiff in the rear. Alignment, negative 25 in the front and negative 20 in the rear. I messed with this car for a while. I'm happy with it. It's it's damn good. This thing is a sleeper. I it's definitely it's definitely a top competing hypercar. It's hard to say. Like, I know a lot of people are like, these are the best cars for the class, and this is the best car. Obviously, the, nobody's tested all the cars yet. It's all what we've tried, speculation, what we've won the most with. Like, everybody's just trying to get the views. I get it. Um, so, like, we don't really know what the best is, and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of variables in this game. There's a lot of drafting, NOS, a lot of skill that goes into it like you could just get unlucky and get crashed into on races like and until we actually take these cars around a certain track and time attack it we're really not going to know what the best is but this one's up at the top of the list 100 percent, and you just you just don't see it but anyway boys i'm gonna throw up those grand races you know the drill subscribe come back check out other pro settings videos i got some really good tunes really solid tunes you're not going to be disappointed 
See you on the next one. I'm trying to get a cleaner race this time. We were all over the place. It's just sometimes this grand race is just wild, man. But look, 16th position. Watch how fast this thing climbs right near the top. Look at this. Look at the launch. Look at the grip. There's a Jesco right there. Started in front of us. He's a little Nas. Ah, I almost got away. Look at us. From 16th, right up top here. Oh, of course. Okay, all right. Well, that's my fault. I should have slowed down a little bit more. But as you can see, this car is insanely quick. We'll catch back up. Watch. Oh, oh. This tune makes it feel so good. Oh, that guy went way up there. And like, it catches up too. Like, I actually kept pace with a uh, Revolto, which if you've seen my videos, I feel like that might be like one of the best hyper cars, if not the best. I want to get a straightaway so I can show you guys the 300 speed this thing can hit. Cause it's actually, it's, it's, it's pretty insane. Everybody cutting wide, you know. Just zip right past them. You can see this thing is grippy as hell. That's that. Them Kingdom Pro settings for ya. See ya. That's fine. Got a sharp right hander coming up here. I didn't want to smash into him, but it just kind of happened. Uh, maybe one of these, I think we switch here. I don't think we'll be able to really get this thing up to speed. Maybe right here. Look at that, three, 310 we hit, 310. Just to show you it's possible. This thing has an insane top speed. Look at these dudes, they can't touch us. Could this be one of the best hypercars, sleeper, Citroen, nobody knew about? Oh, we still managed to pull third out. Not bad considering we crashed pretty heavily. But man, that Citroen, who boy, who. All right, everybody's using the goddamn Bugattis and Lamborghinis. This Citroen GT, Actually, most, uh, like, every hypercar I've tested tops out right around 298. This goes to 309 and actually clicks over to 310. Now, with these settings, I'm still kind of trying to fine-tune it here, but it's not bad. As you can see, we're blasting past the whole pack here. Uh, I should have just crammed it on them all like they do to me. But as you can see, we are easily making our way to the front. No problem. Now I have this thing gripped up pretty well. It's very nimble. I did a test against the Revelto, like a zero to 250 miles per hour, and it was only 0.8 seconds behind. Oh, um, of course. Oh my God, that actually, oh. Okay, sick, awesome. That's not gonna reset me. Well, there goes that. <laughs> Um, it was only 0.8 seconds behind it getting to um, like a certain spot on the track But um, you can see here. It's it's not a bad car We were walking everybody right out right out of the gate We just oh my god, okay. Yeah, well I've got a pretty stable through these corners. I said Jesco not worried about it. He had a little bit more nitrous than me. It's cool. But yeah, I mean, if you get this thing like on some strict highways, 
Okay. Okay, we have to slow down, boys. Oh my god. <laughs> um, you can hit 309, 310 in this thing, and which is kind of crazy because like I have a Sharon Carbon Edition and it tops out at 298. Do you think a freaking Bugatti would uh, have a higher top speed? But nope. Uh, I got a little loose on me there. It's alright. See ya. As you can see, we're blasting past all the other hypercars. Look at it. Cento DSC or whatever it's called. Oh, he's gonna. We should cut there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> They're probably mad at me for that. That's because I didn't cut. We're just not having a, a clean race, good race. I'm still kind of getting used to the car here. I think I'm pretty happy with where it's at though. 